for any democracy to survive, we must have strong political organizations. The aim of these workshops is to build a strong link between the general public and the political parties in the country. Dr. Gelo says once this link is established, the public will be able to better hold political parties and their candidates accountable. But a lot of work still needs to be done. Parties in PNC have been described as being weak in many areas, especially when it comes to their organization, when it comes to their structure, when it comes to membership, when it comes to their policies. Changing the culture of one-man executives that exist in a lot of current political parties is a huge challenge. Another worrying failure is not holding regular party conventions where important issues are discussed among party members and the executives. Dr. Gelu says this culture needs to be changed because having strong political parties will sustain political stability in the country. People come, people go, but parties they remain. So parties can only remain and they can only be strong if the membership of those parties, they remain loyal to that particular party. Of the more than 30 parties now registered, only a handful are performing to expectations. A sign of change in party culture in PNG would mean the public can easily differentiate one party from another based on the policies they have on social issues such as education and health. Right now in Papua New Guinea it is very difficult. Dr. Gelu believes the current number of political parties is not manageable. Parties between 10 to 15. Uh, it will be easy for us to manage and also by then we should start building strong parties as institutions. The current workshop will run for three days and political party representatives from Australia and Solomon Islands will be participating as well. Sarah Aupong, National MTV News.